Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Halloween event for Destiny 2, which is the uh, Festival of the Lost. And basically, with pretty much almost every other event review that I usually do, the Halloween one's always a funny one to me because usually in other non-Halloween events, I usually wait like the last week of the event to make a review of it because I feel like that's the best time to review it the halloween event i think for two years straight is just always like the next week or the next like four days or some shit like that obviously this one's like next week is like tomorrow's tuesday but still it's funny to me that it's always just the first like two three hours i see of this event and i'm just like all right it's dog shit immediately i don't care what the fuck you're gonna tell me in the comments below because ultimately this event added nothing new of substance. And I know people are going to say, well, it added ciphers. That's why I said of substance, because ciphers doesn't really add anything of like substance. Like what I'm and when I mean substance, I mean like something fucking meaty, something that you're like, yo, that's fucking good. You know, nothing like that. And if you're going to tell me, oh, well, you can do the, the, the weekly bright dust for extra bright dust, you know, every event has had this so that should not be a thing that's pointed to Hall the halloween event itself or you could tell me oh but you know we get the weapons with random rolls yeah 450s with random rolls and the horror story has actual dog shit rolls bray tech i could i could see you giving me an argument for for bray tech because bray tech not only feels great but actually has decent rolls the only problem is it's 450s. Do you know how 450s are in the, in the in the game in general right now? They're dog shit. So, you know, whatever. Now, I know people are going to be like, "Well, what would you have done?" I would have brought a 110 hand cannon. Just and it and you don't even have to make a new one. Just give us Duke. The Duke or the Mark 44 Duke, I think it's called. Give us the Duke. Give us a reimagined Duke with like Halloween skins and shit and whatnot, whatever. If you want to really wow me, make it look spooky as fuck as an ornament and let me earn it in the game. That should have been the level 45 for all of the uh, Cypher decoders. A cool cosmetic skin for the Duke, which would have been the new weapon of the season or not season. It would have been the new weapon of the event because you know why? Because in Beyond Light, they're bumping 110s. And if you gave me a 110, a new 110 with a really cool skin that I could use all year long, I would have eaten that shit up. Especially if you, you don't even have to give it new rolls because the rolls already are good. But if you want, want it to go beyond, yeah, give it better rolls, bro. Easy, easy W, bro. Are you telling me you wouldn't be excited for, for Duke to come back? with a cool fucking skin that you could earn in game bro and if people are gonna tell me oh it takes time to make a skin for one fucking skin for a fucking weapon that already exists in the game all you have to do is 3d that shit yeah like bro if you're really gonna defend that i'm sorry i i can't help you i really can't but imagine it duke bro just imagine the trailer saying you can re-earn duke and if you do a triumph, you get this cool skin. I see no problem with that, bro. People would have been farming that shit forever. I would have been doing haunted forest with a smile on my fucking face, bro. And this is coming from a guy who did not like really like Duke all that much growing or growing up. This is coming from a guy that did not like Duke that much when it first came out. I was just like, yeah, sure. It's cool. It's a 110. I really don't care. But with the buffs that are coming to 110s, I would have been like, yo, I'm excited because of the possibility of this being nasty. But, you know, we don't live in that world. We live in the world where they're reissuing weapons that are dog shit archetypes with mostly dark shit, with mostly dog shit perks. Oh, and if you want to earn these dog shit weapons, you got to earn the cypher decoders oh what are those the really 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 rare drops even though someone from bungie said they drop like um umbral engrams which was not the fucking case now i know people are gonna be like they fixed that tony yeah, yeah yeah that's cool 
That should not have been a thing they should have fixed. That should have been a thing that should have just fucking worked in the beginning. That's the thing. It's like, I don't care if they fixed it. That shit should not have been a, a thing. And that's why, like, that's what I'm trying to say is that, like, this event is just so bad because of just the... <sighs> Obviously, I'm just disappointed. And I feel like I'm rightly disappointed because a reissued weapon of... Uh, archetype buff that they're doing in the future would have been just been a no-brainer Duke coming back would have been dope as fuck uh, The masks are cool. I have no issue with the masks. The masks are cool. I collected them all already I'm Most likely gonna do a review on them because of extra content. I gotta squeeze this event as much as I can and I think a lot of them are genuinely cool uh, the Eververse especially the Eververse store is another thing. It's like I Don't think this year has been as bad, but I don't think they added anything cool like in Eververse, like so cool that you're just like, well, I guess I gotta draw money. Me personally, I've never felt that way aside from like maybe one exotic uh, ornament from Warmind. Warmind? Warmind. Not Warmind. Which one was it? Shadowkeep, I think. Maybe. So, personally, Eververse just whatever. Quite honestly, a lot of the stuff in the Eververse store is just like really lackluster. Obviously, the armor is dope as fuck. Uh, Titans lost, y'all. Y'all already know you lost. Uh, Warlocks probably won it because they look fire. I've already talked about this in my armor uh, review. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll have it in the description below. But again, me personally, for a free event like this, which let's be real, no one's doing the event because Haunted Forest is back. If you are, you're fucking weird. But me personally, when I go into an event, I think, what's the cool stuff that I can get in the game? And then when I see, oh, I can get the armor for like $15 or I can buy it for Bright Dust. And I'm just like, all right, yeah, cool, I'll buy it. It's like the fact that the day of this event, I went and bought all three armor sets and I was just like, cool. I guess I'll just log out now because I just there's nothing to do because I don't care about the, about the mask, quite honestly, because we don't even have the ability to wear it half the fucking time not only that but everything else is just like whatever's i think the ghost ship and sparrow the the special ones are just mediocre at best i'm not excited about it uh if you are excited about ships ghosts and sparrows having fucking cloth on them then i guess do you i mean i'm not, I'm not judging but i'm just saying that doesn't excite me uh let me know your, your thoughts in the comments below like I said, man, I was not expecting this event to be anything great. If anything, <laughs> I was not expecting this event to be even worse than last year. But Bungie, you did it again. Yeah, yeah, I did it. And when I say worse, I mean like they actually dropped the ball in a few things. But overall, yeah, uh, look out for that mask review because I like a lot of the masks. And the Eververse store ones are obviously the better ones. Don't know why I expected less. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the support. I really do appreciate it. And again, if you like this event, I'm not saying your shit for liking it. I'm not saying I'm not attacking you specifically. I'm just reviewing it from my point of view. If you think it's great, let me know in the comments below. But just don't be an asshole, all right? So yeah, be safe, guys. You know what's happening in the world, and I will see you guys later.